A lot of people said, what, well, you know, prog rock in Blackpool, what the hell, you know, yeah. are, are you going mad? Blackpool's the perfect town for it. When I was growing up in Blackpool in the 70s, the mid-70s, there was always a big kind of prog scene, you know, everyone was into prog at the time. But that's not your audience, your audience is worldwide. Nobody's ever thought of this before. I mean, it's a really cool idea. Blackpool's easy to get to, it's cheap to stay in, it's got loads and loads of space to support bands and music on. British music is a very powerful thing, and the Blackpool era is kind of important in all of that because it did play host as a town to a lot of visiting musicians. Obviously, the, the likes of the Cliffs and the Adam Faiths in the, in the early 60s who would come and do the the theatres or the peers, um, but also visiting bands. I mean, there, I saw the Rolling Stones in Blackpool, um, I, I guess uh, right at the beginning of their career. Uh, I saw the high numbers in Blackpool before they became the Who. Um, so yeah, there was the opportunity to see bands in, in Blackpool and, and that impressed a lot of us young kids aged 13 or 14 and um, and we were out of the Blackpool bands there were a number of them that uh, that did venture forth. Whilst I, w I would argue that Jethro Tull is a prog rock band only for essentially primarily one album which is Thick as a Brick, I do think it's it's appropriate to talk in terms of progressive rock if you keep it in a wide definition you know you keep it don't let it become you know too especially when you're trying to get other people a new a new generation of younger people interested in that in in that era of musical achievement because there was a lot of great music in under the prog rock banner yeah.